Hey, I'm right back on they ass, yo. They done made me mad, uh. I've been keeping calm, constantly keep making cash, yo. I've been getting bad, got the bag, got the bag, yo. Presidential shit, I wrap my man back mad black, yo. Call me Mr. Glock, shooters in the front and back, yo. I'm on so my mid the shit, these bitches coming in the pack. <laughs> <laughs> Aight, man, we back up in this motherfucker, you heard? This is motherfucking what? Uh, ah, welcome back to another episode of the motherfucking Porter Potty Podcast. The you know hand. The hand. The hand. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Eight. Sixty-eight. Episode okay. 68. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like seven. <laughs> seven was like a la- a year ago. Yeah, so we no, just, 67. I'm saying like. Yeah, was, uh, that was the last one. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I got it. I know it. I, I just. I knew it. It was there. You know what I'm saying? I just. <sighs> Every time I go to say it, it's just like it slips my mind. You mm. know what I mean? Like a no, like a caution sign should be there, but like it's not there. Yeah, you feel type me? thing. Yeah, yeah. Slippery when wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, know you don't see it at first, but when you put your foot on it, then you see it. Mm, yeah. Once you're laying down on the ground, you look up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We back up in it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. Uh, uh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. What the hell? You unmuted. Oh no! I think you broke the matrix. I ain't gonna lie. You unmuted. I did not. It said, <laughs> you did. It said host <laughs> unmuted you. I did not unmute you. That was like no. You did it. Okay. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the shit house, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be something. You feel me? It's always gonna be something. But yeah, um, we got a special guest today. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's always gonna be something. Uh. He is not here yet, so <laughs> <laughs> he'll be tapping in in a little bit, but we're going to get right into it, man. The question of the day, when is it okay to delete someone off of social media? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, is it is it okay, like, to delete somebody that you just, like, you're cool with or family members with or whatever, and y'all get into it, and you kind of, like, y'all still cool and shit, but, like, do I really need you on my social media peeking on my shit? Mm. Or, like, should I just leave you in the background to watch what the fuck I'm doing type Mm. shit? You know what I'm saying? Or, like, people that you just don't talk to. Because here's my experience. If you delete somebody on social media, motherfuckers be like, damn, why'd you delete me? You You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck with me no more? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's personal? Yeah. I mean, I can can feel it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... You know, when you find out, like, somebody just unfollowed you, you feel me? It's like, wow, you really unfollowed me, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, when is it okay? Um, I, I don't make it a habit of deleting people. Like, I don't know. I, but then again, I'm not on social media much. But when I was on social media. You don't make it a habit of adding people. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not on it anymore. But anyway, when I was on it and I was active, like, on the uh, book face uh, page. Book face. Um, when I was on there, it was one of those, like, if you only tried to keep up with my life through that app mm-hmm. i've i have unf- or like blocked people or taken people off unfriended them whatever so they can't see my stuff if you care about me hit me up um i've done that on some just being petty yeah 100 <laughs> percent being petty um but i don't just go in there like if i'm mad at you or oh, you're not my friend i don't go in there i'll be like it's okay you can be my fan you can watch me it's cool yeah. like that's cute um but I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not big on deleting people. And you, sir, you only got IG. How do you feel? It would like literally society would probably break down if social media like just deleted itself and it was gone. Because like I don't know. Like I guess people are just so interested in like seeing somebody else's private life a little bit. It's just what they want to show you about their life. Um, And if they never showed it, you will always be like. I wonder what that guy's doing. Like, I wonder what Mm -hmm. this girl, like, life is. Like, da-da-da. You know what I mean? So, um, for me, I don't even really care to uh, block people. I don't think I've blocked a single person. I mean, yeah, you you really don't post a lot of shit, too, though. But at the same time, like, you don't got... Like haters or yeah, shit that's, like that. That's, that's why I think I don't ever have to do that. But if I yeah. had somebody on my page just wreaking havoc on my page and like harassing my other family members or friends or just being a bozo, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna block you off my page because I don't yeah. need you on here causing all that drama. Like I'm not about drama. So if right. you're causing it, kick rocks. Right. And then you feel how you feel. You shouldn't have been on my page acting a fool. Yeah. 
you know, this it's there's people that'll like, you know, try to push your buttons and shit like that and, and then try to you know, it's a it's a whole internet troll society game shit that they you know, people play and shit. And it's like the, you basically like throw rocks and hide your hands type shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll do some little slick shit or say some little slick shit because it's online or Keyboard you know what I'm saying. And then and then try to act like oh no 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 that's not what like that, that was. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like I was just playing. And then y'all, if y'all get into it or whatever the fuck is it okay to just like delete them? Like if we get back cool and good again, you know what I'm saying? I might add you back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but like like. It shouldn't even matter. Like, that's what I'm saying. People are too invested with the internet because, like, you meet somebody and then uh, y'all become cool. Then it goes, oh, okay, I want to follow him on social media or I want to follow her on social media or whatever. Well, see, the stupid shit is that uh, when, you know, like me in my position, you know what I'm saying? If it's, it's a status thing, you know, and I'm not saying, like, I'm this fucking huge guy or whatever the fuck, but... With the, like, just say the battle rap community or whatever, or just even when I was rapping or whatever, you know, if you if you're up and you're doing it, people want to be have you on their friends. You know what I'm saying? You're you're their friend or whatever the fuck. You want to be included or whatever the fuck. So it's like kind of like a status thing. Oh, so and so follows me or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, it's an even bigger step if they follow you back. You know, like you know, yeah, it goes both ways or whatever. But um, yeah, nobody really pulls their like, like their viewpoint back and realize like, bro, this is just a regular person. They're exactly like me, but you know, obviously different because they had different uh, interactions or different just situations and stuff like that. So it, it's just weird. But you have to like add the mo- more people to have that status quo. So you have to deal with more people and yeah. all kinds of people. Right. Not just not just friends and family. You have strangers. Yeah. So like, if pretty much if I delete you, you're you're gone. <laughs> like you ain't coming back type shit. But you know, it, it's it take a lot for me to actually block you. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you block them, then they can't message you at all. You you feel yeah. me? Like, but if I'm if I just delete you off my shit, you can still get in contact with me through Messenger or whatever the fuck. But uh, or you know, just inbox me or you know. On IG or right. whatever app we're talking about here, but um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I mean, I can see if it gets overwhelming with negativity, like, yeah, then I'm gonna start blocking people. But if it's just like one or two, I'm like, yeah, I'm straight, bro. I don't even really check the messages like that. I just look through posts, um, check like what people posted, like academics or something like that. Just yeah. keep up to date with, um. Uh, what other celebrities are doing. And that's weird, too, to keep up with other celebrities. But Yeah, it know. just got in a weird space, bro, because, like, uh, yeah, it just got in a weird space. I just used, used to use it to keep contact with, like, uh, family members that live out of town type shit, and you, you can still be involved in their family. Or and, even find an old friend that you fell out of contact with. You can find an old friend or yeah. something like that. Was cool. It was cool for that, but... Yeah. It's, it's like it's not even. I mean, at anymore. the moment, but I mean, once you <laughs> get, you fucking get back in contact with all your old friends, it's like, what else is there to do here? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like, awkward. Like, mm. let me keep posting my food or yeah, like, like what I did. What today. else is there really to do here? But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm like this close to like just deleting all. Deleting them. It? Yeah. yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying. Like very very close. And I went back and looked at like my last like couple posts. Like when when is the last time I post? And all my posts on the the book face place um is what just it's just uh, it's birthdays like when when you guys have birthdays but i'm making like a tiktok and then sharing it on the other platforms uh that's like my last post yeah or maybe uh, well on on insta i i do my workout stuff every now and again i keep instagram instagram is is straight it's just facebook is just yeah the dumps bro like I, ain't, I don't give a fuck to get on that shit no more, like, at all. When somebody says, oh, did you see somebody posted whatever on there? I'm like, oh, I got to go look at that. I got to go into the devil's <laughs> like, nah, what they say, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> send me I feel like, send let me, me know, I ain't on there. I don't even want to get on it. Like, what I be hearing about Facebook, because I never had Facebook, um, I be hearing, like, it kind of sounds like it's between, like, in between Instagram and Twitter, like, yeah, kinda. like yeah. it shares both apps. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. The only thing I missed about that app is that's how I knew when people's birthdays were. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and so, like, uh, I had hit up Lizard and was like, 
is today Ava's birthday? Because I had it in my calendar wrong. Mm-hmm. I knew Leslie's birthday. Why? Well, I t- I, but I went to I went to the Devil's app and, and was like, "Yep, it is her birthday." Okay, cool. Just making sure before I send this text, <laughs> text their happy birthday. And then like a couple days later, got a pop up that it was Ava's birthday. I was like, "There ain't no way their birthday's only a couple days apart." <laughs> so I hit up I hit up Lizard and was like, "Am I wrong?" He's like, "Yeah, it was same da- uh, date, but wrong month." So uh, I was like, "Oh." But that's so that's the only thing I missed about that app is that's how I knew when people's birthdays were. So I don't think there's any uh, convenient time to ever delete somebody so like there's so the question was like what's yeah. a good time there's not a convenient time but is there a, you know <laughs> should you delete people I, like I, if you if you're ever gonna fuck with them again do you feel like you should delete them or you should just i keep can them i can watching? delete you off my social media if you're being a jackass on my page but we can still remain like cool in person i can do that but yeah. if you can't even be cool in person because you get your tune and your feelings about me deleting you off social media, well, then yeah. I don't need you in my life either. True, true. So. Yeah, because there's some people like you'll post like a picture or a video or make a, just a regular post. And then they'll go in there picking it apart or like being the grammar police or fucking just some annoying yeah. ass shit. That See, they, at that point, you would need to just turn off your notifications on a post. Oh, no, because the interactions is the fucking point. Yeah. Like, why are you doing it in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not on I here to support me. You're on here just to just to be dumb, and I don't want. I wouldn't want that on my page. Yeah, but I just I don't know. And it's like my, I it's, naturally just kind of like if I post something, and I just post it, and then I dip off, um, wait a couple of hours, probably check it if I want to. But like I don't really get too invested in that. I'm just watching YouTube mainly, so I don't even get back on it. So it's really your choice like you're spending your time on the internet on uh social media platforms yeah. wasting your time talking about why somebody hates you and stuff like that that's all you you need to train yourself to use social media use the internet for like an hour or two and then do something it's else. A, it's hard it's easier said than done because yeah. and, and also like you you're looking at it outside in and already hearing the downfalls of what the fuck that app is, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, when we... Oh, uh, true enough, the app was already going for a while before, you know, we started getting on it or whatever and it gained popularity. But, you know, it, it, you, you become so entrenched in it, bro, because everybody, every single person that you know is on this app. Yeah. And they're posting things about their day and they're saying just random stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm in there just, if I'm watching a fight, all oh, that fool got fucked up. Like, basically, like, posted on Twitter, but more long-form type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's easy to get entrenched in that shit. Mm-hmm. What fucked it up, and I've said this before, what fucked it up for me is the algorithm when they, they went from, like, posting every last thing to, like, switching it up. And you see, like, shit from three weeks ago, a month yeah. ago, you know, all this other shit. And uh, just mix it up. Instead of seeing shit in real time and being able to scroll down and keep up with the people that you actually follow, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, um, yeah, there will be people on the app that I that I follow, but I follow so many people. And it's the way the algorithm works is that if you're interactive with these certain people, you're only going to see their shit. If you're never interactive with them, you really never see their shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When... The other way around, you didn't have to be active with those people, and you would still see their shit to give you the availability to be active with them. If they posted today, you would see it today. Right, which would give me the the chance to be like, oh, you know, in their life. Now Mm -hmm. you're limited to, you know, a select group, you know what I'm saying, but you're still following these people. They're still on the app or whatever the fuck, and you can go see their shit, but you have to go look for it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, Instagram, I think, kind of, Fix that a little bit because I do understand. Like, if you're going through your regular timeline, you you might miss a couple of people. But like Instagram has that little, uh, like you click the, what is it? I think it's like at the top left or whatever, and it'll be like following or something else. But you can click following, and then it shows nothing but the people you're following. Pe- yeah, and I think it's in order too. So I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? What'd you say? That you can click that button and it'll show you just the people you follow on Instagram? Like they got a button on the top left or something. I think it's on the I top left, that. but you can click it and choose like if you only want to see the people that you're following's post or like just any post. I don't like so, I don't understand because you can only see people that you follow. No. 
No, like yes. you can pull it up right now. And I don't. I don't. I, I don't show people on my on my timeline that I'm not following on Instagram. Yes. Oh, I don't. know. It doesn't work like that. You have to, that. That's what's the point of following me? Because I, I guess I'm, maybe I'm not paying that close attention. I'm not on it that enough to to know the difference. I think it's it's like following and followers. Mm. I think that's what it is. So what you see is like followers, and then if you change it. I think that's the two options because I know one of them is following. I don't know, and but following I following will show like the people that you follow. You know what I mean? And then the followers shows like um, suggestions mm. and like you know you get those random accounts thrown at you. I think Mimo's answer is he's not going to delete nobody. <laughs> oh, it's favorites. He's not favorites. Oh, that that, that, makes, that makes a difference okay. because that's that that's like sense. the close friends post. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, but it's you still have to follow them to be favorite. I think you might have favorite people that you don't follow, but hmm. uh, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. But the answer is yes, I will delete somebody. <laughs> on, on social media or in real life, I will delete you. Um, you get a half. I mean, you that's could my, just That's like, my answer. That's my answer. Like, if you don't like them, like, I mean, it kind of sounds harsh, but, like, you could just use them. You know what I mean? Like, just use them for views and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, it's not a but, habit of mine, but I would if you were causing enough habit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete you. Yeah, uh, yeah. You is that your answer? What you're deleting? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm almost deleting the entire fucking app. So, like, how do you at this point? How do you block people? I don't, even, <laughs> bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm, it's easy. You bro. click the the three little dots on on Insta. You click the three dots, and then you can say unfollow or block. It's that easy. Oh my God. <laughs> and I only know that because I just clicked on it right now. <laughs> Bro, like. I, I sounded know. like I knew what I was talking about, though. But I, I mean, I do because I just, but I just seen it. And yeah. And if I don't like, okay, I wouldn't block somebody, but I would definitely unfollow. Them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. That's the better button. The unfollow button. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I, like, I, I unfollow that way. I can still like if, it, you know. If they want to reach out. Yeah. If it's that bad, I'm going ahead and block them. But if, if mm-hmm. it's still somebody that I can keep contact with. All right, finally, man, we got him in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, Mister Six Six, in the goddamn building. <laughs> Took you long enough, brother. Is he working? Is there mic? Let's yeah. see if the mic Uh-oh. is on. Un- unmute your mic, bro. Now, now we're gonna have now we're gonna have the old man <laughs> <Yeah>. difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 got to learn this app. You know what I'm saying? He's and he's old. Everybody, he's old. So we gotta there give him goes. a we gotta give him a second. Well, <laughs> now it's just the elevator music. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, we need that. We need the uh, the AOL. <laughs> what is AOL? Yo, yo, that. stop the cap. There you go. All right. Oh, yeah, pull your hi. mic to you, bro. It's uh, I got it mounted to a firearm, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> what the fuck? I was in a hurry, bro. I didn't have anything to put it to. <laughs> this fool. The whole point of having a mic is not to sound like you're in a fucking. <laughs> All right, man. I'll get it. Lord. I don't, I don't even. Is it even on? It sounds, yeah, hang on. It sounds like that. That's room audio right there. Probably just gotta delete the whole episode. All right. While I was working on looking up the mic. Uh, Let's get into the shit. First topic, you know what I'm saying, is this beat down. <laughs> Finally, long time coming. Shouts to the guys that, you know what I'm saying, held it down, did they thing, you feel me? <laughs> nah, I don't, it didn't even have anything to do with uh, the whole snitching thing. Bro, it was so <laughs> random. Like, Nah, it had to do with him getting, uh, he was being recorded uh, some at, at that fucking Puerto Rico versus Mexico game. Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, the guy that was recording him was Puerto Rican, and he was like, uh, I guess telling him, like, you don't represent your Puerto Rican side or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And, and he was like, basically, like, fuck my Puerto Rican side. He was speaking Spanish, and he was like, I'm I'm Mexican, you know what I'm saying? My mom's Mexican, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, we don't claim you. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's when he was talking about, like, um, like he didn't even mess with his dad because his dad's, like, Puerto Rican or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. he's like... He didn't want to really claim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like in the garage or something. I don't oh, know. wow. But. So, I mean, he's in Miami. 
You know what I mean? It's a bunch of Puerto Ricans over there, bro. Like, and they seen six nine in the gym. Homeboy made a phone call. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. Homie, they push his hairline back. All type of shit. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even look at his hairline. Oh my god! They slid his tattoos back and shit. Oh my! <laughs> they almost Lord. beat the tattoos off of this kid, bro. I mean, it makes the jigsaw tattoo look more realistic with the blood and stuff, but you know. Oh. And then he got his X marks the spot on his face. So, damn. <laughs> they pulled out his fucking extensions and shit. That's all type of shit. Crazy. I can't even tell if his mustache is blood stains or like. Bro, I seen one of the videos like another. Um, like angle came out and they showed like bro he was getting stomped the fuck out kicked in the face like bro. heavy kicked in the face did like, you want to show that video or no 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 just show the cartoon yeah, one show the cartoon one show this cartoon one yeah okay. the car that's what i'm saying the cartoon <laughs> one is more safe cuz the real life one bro oh my god all right yeah. every time i'm seen out in public yeah. people want to scream rat from three blocks away. And they'd be like, yo, but he was security. Stop using security as an escape. Go, why y'all can't touch me? A few moments later. Bro, he's getting stopped. <laughs> Basically the reenactment. <laughs> like, just yeah. like that. Kinda, just yeah, like yo. that. But, but not like the way he got stomped. It was so disrespectful. Like, I felt my rib go in my body, like. Yeah. And he was talking and stomping, like, oh, man. Oh, my God, bro. All right, you get your shit working? Uh, <laughs> in here? Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I mean, it still sounds the same. <laughs> fuck, dude. What'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> I figured you <laughs> fucked with it and everything before just hopping on hey. the live. I did, but yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on with it. Mm. It's quiet or what? A lot of background noise? Yeah, I just you echo. Yeah, you just sound You're like a, crispy. a regular Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> so today, guys, we want to go over the business plans and um, what we're going to do in 2024. <laughs> nah, but, um, like, bro, bro got stomped on, and then uh, he was like, yeah, you Mickey uh, Rainbow, Mickey Mouse, and picked him up by his hair. <laughs> and then the cameraman was like, I want to lick back, too, and kicked him right in the face. I was like, Bruh. <laughs> bro, he got so disrespected. <laughs> and then the uh, the after video from that, where he's, like, pacing back and forth with a bloody face, and he's all like, no, 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 no. And then the guy's like, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a fan. I'm yeah, like, the one recording nah, it. Like, man. how are you a fan? And you're like just recording him getting stomped out. And then post it. They said it would have been worse because the people who came in were workers of LA Fitness. So if they never came in, he would have. Yeah, I said that they heard the commotion and came in there and, and then called the manager. I was like, oh, Lord. And then, of course, the police and, and the ambulance. He would have been sent to the woo. The ambulance. Bro picked him up by his hair. He was like, hey, take a picture. I want to be famous too, bitch. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> 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 oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, but now there's a video before it, too, where uh, it was like a girlfriend and a boyfriend. I think the boyfriend was recording. And they saw him on like a little, I think it's called the Stairmaster. It's like. High up, but his steps. Yeah. That's their message. Yeah. yeah. He was on one of those, like, <sighs> an Ecclesi jacket. Ecclesi. He needs to just yeah. work out at Cleasy, home. Like the New York jackets, uh, like puffer jackets or. They call them Ecclesi? Yeah, over there. Mm. Montclair? That was dumb. Oh. Well, it is a Montclair, but they be calling it Ecclesi. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that Anyways, is. Anyways. That sounds like some retarded but he was, shit. And he was wearing, like, shorts that were, like, they look like underwear. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That was <laughs> like, odd to me. Like I was like, shorts? bro, are you wearing underwear right now? Like, like UFC shorts? Where that fool go? No, it was like completely like black shorts, I guess. They look like tights more. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> how, how did you feel, though, when you when you saw that? Like, how did All right, you Matt, 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 is, uh, 
Matt is trying to work out the kinks. He'll be back. Okay. Uh, all right. So, yeah. 6 9 got his ass buzzed, bro. I'm so happy. <laughs> bro, when you manifest hey, they really, They really didn't. Uh, to me. They didn't do that he, much. No, no, no. They didn't do shit. They, they were just making an example out of them. They could have really done bro, bro bad. They could have done a bad. UFC style just. Just yeah. bow, bow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because I'm, I'm trying to put your ass to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And they, they were just. Bro, they like kicking him like they're scared that he's gonna do something to them. Or maybe <laughs> you know they were saying? like they were they were trying to hit him, but they were like, "Man, what if I get repercussions from this? Like, if I beat him bad, then he could probably sue me for more." Well, or something the guy, like that. the guy said, uh, "Show my face. I want to be famous now." And then like yeah. hit him again. That's what I just said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> bad podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was multitasking. Sorry, bro. But when you manifest something for so long. It's going to happen to you. Like he was talking yeah, about, like I, yeah, I, no, you can nobody touch me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm you're bro, just asking for it. At no that point. security. I walk by myself. Well, Except, see what going, happens when you walk by yourself. Bro is going live at gas stations. Like, yeah. look at me. I got my Lamborghini at a Seven Eleven. Like, yeah, he's always talking about how he walks. With, yeah, he should have took that fucking gun with him to the gym. <laughs> I'd rather, I don't know I'd rather why. take that charge. Imagine being in the gym with no guns. <laughs> bro don't even got hands burr, 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 burr. let alone burr. guns <laughs> bro be fine like mm. <laughs> I, I don't know all I saw was this yeah, he bro, was. and then even that, like his defense sucks. Like, yeah. when did you be like this? Like, I want to see the beginning of that shit. How how did they drop him exactly? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how or how many were there? Him, yeah. How many were there? It, no, it was it, only it, two that. people. It just said multiple. There was too many that he couldn't fight off. That's what it said. Let's oh. see. There was two oh. people. Gotcha. Yo. Uh, same. <laughs> oh fuck it, man. I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> it was. I don't, to, I don't know how to turn it up. <laughs> but it was the it's because it's it's, and it might be because it's a directional mic you have to talk into the actual <laughs> mic you can't just have it like oh well out. I felt uncomfortable putting that thing in my mouth out oh. weird <laughs> I thought you would be pretty comfortable with it you know what I'm saying like you've always done that not right not the right color <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the right color it's so insane <laughs> Yeah. Hey yo, what the oh fuck? What about Lord. the size? What about the size? Uh, well, he the size is about right for me. No, look. <laughs> the cat. The cat. Bruh. Oh my goodness. But no, nah, it was um, it it was just two people: the cameraman and then that old dude. It there weren't that many people in that bathroom. Oh, because yeah. in the article it was saying that there was too many for him to fight off. Right. So like, uh, well, how many? Did you see the video? Yeah, man. <laughs> we would have done that boy bad, bro. Bro, come on. Dude. <laughs> Stop throwing up my crown. Like, hey, we <laughs> we don't Mickey Mouse shit is this. Right, we don't beat people's ass. For, soft. We don't beat people's ass for way less. Bro, <laughs> yeah, I, way worse. I never met a, a man a man so soft that his ass whoopings are soft in public. Like, god damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they drug him by his hair and shit. Like, yeah. what the fuck is going on, bro? He looked like a fucking tranny on East Side. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. His, all, his shorts all hiked up, bro. I'm like, dude, you you know he was selling pussy in prison. <laughs> What are you doing with a puffer jacket exactly bro, in LA Fitness, looked, bro? Yeah, he looked like a fucking like. Bro, like he I, has I, a, I did, when I first started the video, I thought it was like some stripper that got her ass whooped, and then it turned. He turned around, I'm like, damn, it's ugly. <laughs> Why she got a whole bunch of tattoos on her face? <laughs> they look like six nine. <laughs> wow. But bro has a. Jim at his own house. So yeah, why he why go you? to LA Fitness? That's because what a whole bunch of people are talking that's about. That's what he does, bro. That's his gimmick, testing the bro. water. Yeah. He's asking He'll, for it. Yeah, no, for sure. Like he, <laughs> what's his name? Academics was saying this shit proper. He's like, it's not that he's not scared. He's fucking stupid. Like you don't do the kind of shit and then expect no. not to get whooped on. Like yeah. he's lucky he's getting it that light. It's just niggas are so soft these days. Like, yeah, yeah, academics did say that shit. He was like, he got a big set of nuts. He was like, he's, 20, he's 20 years scared. ago, bro. 20 years ago, you, you, you wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -mm. There's no way. Nope. Nope. Yeah, your ass would get smoked in our neighborhood. 
For sure. <laughs> you wouldn't be saying all that shit. <laughs> Bro, you're going to get your ass beat every time we see you. And every <laughs> time every time you worse. post those videos that you're at the gas station or you're Way here, worse. you're there. Yep. Nah, but I'm saying 20 years ago, you wouldn't be posting no videos at you, all. You wouldn't do you it. Know like that would, do it. it didn't exist. But I'm just saying though. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't even think about doing it. It was, it was more respect then. You just wouldn't do that. Yeah. You handle shit differently. Because like, you knew yeah. there would be consequences. You wouldn't consequences. be that disrespectful. No, just because I don't know. I don't know if it's because you think you could get away with it. I, we wouldn't do it either way. It's just it's not the way you handled shit. You don't disrespect people like that. Like he does. He's just really openly disrespect people. The dead even. Like, mm-hmm. bro, that's nothing nobody. That's boundaries that you don't even go through. Like. We don't ever do that shit. Yeah, yeah now yeah. that he got caught once, expect that probably like... Yeah, you just opened the floodgates, yeah. bro. Like, you just got humiliated on camera. Bro. You better keep your bitch ass in the house. Bro. Whether it's you, on better, you better run like uh, Jake did. You better run. But, but is, <laughs> it's, it's, either, it's either you talk like or, hella loud or not loud enough. Oh, okay. Not, not, not you. I'm talking to Carmen, bro. Go ahead, oh. bro. Well, no shit on her, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a quiet on her. <laughs> is she because she likes to have her headphones like way the fuck down so she Carmen, can't what, hear what how loud what camera did you buy it makes you look all pretty it's the wow bro hey, don't come hey. in here disrespecting my wife you fucking piece that's, of shit that's my sister hey, bro fuck I'm yourself chilling. her camera's really good though it, it's my laptop it takes away the hangover <laughs> no that comes tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> that'll be tomorrow no but uh fucking I don't, I don't know that, man, it's just like anybody. We've all said this before, but I don't know at this point if he's even fucking. It's almost like he expects the ass whoopings, like he's inviting it. The, the dude is keeping his business alive. Who would have thought he would make it through prison? Right. Who would have thought he would get out of prison and we'd still be talking about him? I used fine. Well, he went, that fool was he, on PC. <laughs> well, he went more to the rat, like, um, yeah, prison, but who's embracing it? We embraced it, like, by talking about it, you know? So <laughs> he's not that dumb. Yeah, but he was and saying, I guess, like, I mean, but us talking about it is not making him money. No, I, no, I get what not. you're saying, but I'm saying it keeps him relevant. <laughs> yeah. Like, it everyone's does, talking about it. Does. For a little bit. I mean, it's in the news. We got to talk about this shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I kind of like shied away from talking about, you know what I'm saying, yeah. him for a while. You know what I'm saying? This day he got his ass beat. <laughs> like, we got to sure. say this. Oh, bro, everybody wanted to see it, though. You know? Yeah, for sure. Bro, hey, but when he got his ribs stomped, bro. That bro. Shit, bro. I know he felt that shit. Bro. My I, I soul went through the earth. <laughs> yeah, my stomach went. <laughs> That's what bro, I'm he saying. He shouldn't have been able to walk out of there, though. Yeah, he bro, had, he had a large dude, you know, doing that shit, bro. That no, nah, bro. L defense, bro. Like it, 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 bro. Anybody that's been through that shit, they, <laughs> yeah. they that shit automatically look kind of fucking fake. That's not what, fake as yeah. it didn't happen, but the rage behind it, bro, it's not there. Yeah. Like it wasn't. Right. He wasn't. It was just not, a little bit of pre workout in the guys. System. That's what I was saying, bro. They were throwing oh kicks God. way too easy. They were throwing kicks like they were scared to bro. throw the kick. Like they were scared that they, that he was going to do something, like grab them and pull them down or something. So it wasn't like I've it wasn't some hard shit, bro. Worse than that, <laughs> allegedly. If I'm putting GTA, <laughs> GTA. Yeah. I'm choking, y'all. If I if I got it, if I got her by the hair or or her. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, now cancel him. Cancel him. <laughs> Yo, Go ahead with man, this. Man, over here fucking plan. me up, bro. <laughs> no, no. If I no, got dude by the hair. If I got dude by the hair and I'm punching him, bro, and I'm I'm fucking socking him up. Oh bro, you oh, you going to sleep, my dude. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, he wouldn't have been awake. Definitely going to not. Sleep, bro. And then you know the fact that he was like rolling around like a fucking idiot, like like a <laughs> you know, like Homer does. Like he's <laughs> He, bro, he, get he, your ass under that fucking water, the, the the sink. You know why? What are you doing? That, that was my thought. That was my get thought. Under the fucking sink, bitch. Regaining your composure. Like, hey, he looked like a he looked like a fool in the UFC to get dropped, waiting for somebody to get on the ground with yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, bro, come on. Well, okay. what are you covering your face for, bro? Like, at that point, like. Bro, that's what I'm saying. L defense. He didn't like move his bro, arm. He, like, get stayed active. Yeah, like, no, bro, he stayed in one you're spot. Really scared, and you're getting stomped out like that. At a certain point, you're like, man, let me just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I want to see. I wanted to see the beginning, like how it started, how he got yeah. dropped, bro. Did they sneak him? Did they, no, were they standing yeah, yeah, in yeah, front of him? To. You saw the video. Yeah. Of the dude calling the dude, right? Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. 
yeah, I don't know why there's no cell phone. Like they just started recording. I, that's a after the fact. Yeah. Well, I weird mean, I situation. Guess, I guess if they started recording before it started, that would be very suspect. Like, how'd you know yeah. this was about to happen? And the go by yourself, no, they did. Bro. They, like, they, they, they fucking called people. That yeah, was about to knew. happen. Yes, wow. they called people they and called waited for two dudes to come in, and the three dudes went back there and beat his ass. Oh, then yeah, there should be a full <laughs> video of it all. <laughs> I'm sure there is. We probably ain't seen it all. No, yeah, I, it'll I probably haven't. come in in like a month. I mean, well, I, how many people were in the bathroom? Like, I right. It was like, well, well, uh, this is noted. We know for a fact that there's no camera in LA Fitness Restaurant. I mean, uh, 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 <laughs> I hope there was no called camera the the locker rooms or whatever. That yeah. that definitely secured what I think of <laughs> whether they have cameras or not in the restroom because LA Fitness is going to be quick to release that for real. If they, I mean, if oh, they shit, release that, release that. We don't actually have cameras. <laughs> I was gonna say if they release that, you're opening a whole another can of worms. I mean, bro, if they have it in there, all they're what seeing the is what was the man wearing? What was he working on? A heavy coat and, and some short shorts. All they're seeing what is old fuck? ass men in there with fucking wrinkled nuts. And, and I'm worried about all of them. I had, I had to go like back pedos. and watch it to see the, the outfit. And yeah, those are like women's boy short underwears. Yeah, he looked like a fucking woman, dude. He was like yeah. the way he did his hair and everything. Yeah, Crocs on and shit. <laughs> And, and, the, and, like the, and the marshmallow jacket, with. the marshmallow jacket was. Mm. Yeah, bro, I feel that's like... what I'm saying, bro. That's some dolphin activities, bro. You go to, bro. You go do mm-hmm. the stair stepper in a fucking Montclair puffer jacket, bro. Like, yes, let I alone, or let alone that the, the fucking jacket mm-hmm. costs like thousands of dollars. But yeah, he's on that rock, bro. But who wears a fucking puffer jacket to be on a? I mean, I wear a jacket, a sauna suit. Jacket, yeah, I wear, yeah, yeah. Bro, it was a windbreaker in Florida too, bro. It's like 90 degrees in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I what get it. I, you- I work out with a fucking hoodie on or, a, you know, jacket, like a, a windbreaker or whatever the fuck, but I'm uh, not wearing a fucking jacket puffer jacket, jacket, bro. jacket in the humidity of Florida? Fuck, no. <laughs> I, I don't think guys can nah, wear puffer like jackets anyway. Nah, that's like extreme, like Why? microwave temperatures. I don't, I don't, like those bro, you would, even don't. if you had his hair, you would have pulled it back. Like, <laughs> you would have just been like wearing that shit, huh? I don't know. <laughs> he did, he did, did have you? it in a ponytail or whatever. Did you pull your nah, braids back? he didn't have it in a ponytail. Did you pull your braids back at the gym? No, I didn't. <laughs> nah, but I, we were in the restroom at LA Fitness. I was like, 6'9. <laughs> <laughs> it happened right here. <laughs> I had seen really somebody. His ass and then say, hey, I'm actually a fan, bro. <laughs> bro, that was the weirdest That's part. That's wild, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to get he in said, trouble. But, yeah, but you jumped me. <laughs> He's touching his mic. He's, <laughs> He's touching his mic. I'm snitching. He's touching. Sorry, man. What? It's what making on, mad man? noise. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just joking. It's not me. He's always yelling at me for touching my mind. <laughs> ah. It's hilarious. It's not me. It I'm, glad, I'm glad it's you, Matt. I'm glad it's you. This is not what I do for a living. <laughs> we we only sound so good because of him. It's not That's on what? video. <laughs> that sounds better. Just don't don't touch it. Leave it alone. It's right there. <laughs> don't worry about don't what touch I'm it. doing. Don't touch my, it. Don't touch it. But Wrong. six nine now needs to walk around with a grip or walk with people because ain't no way he's about to be safe now. He like, says he, he says he walks around with it all the time. Where the fuck was it? You needed that bitch in the sauna, bro. Straight up. No, it's all it's all a game. I mean, technically, I really I really do think he needs to, he, he's going to have to keep one up in himself. Uh, this is we just saw the first ass whooping, hmm. and he's already done so much. What's the next person going to do? You know, yeah. it's, it, and what's he going to do if he's inviting it? He's well, if, got to one up himself. If nothing happens to the guys, that's the thing. Yeah. If yeah. nothing happens to the guys, yo, the floodgates are open, bro. Yeah. So he he kind of has to tell. At this Nothing's going to happen. They're going to put a ski mask on snitch. and they're going to catch him on the street like me. So if nothing happens to the guys, I bet now the gang members come out. Like, Brother, I think that he knows those dudes. Maybe. Eddie said the same thing. Eddie said that he thought that it was set up. Set up. Well, but nope. but I mean, still, you're bleeding. Like, he was bleeding real blood. He was getting socked and kicked, and I mean, it was enough. Well, to, yeah, but he, he is. Homies he, sock is each other. Like, like it's like wrestling, bro. You get hurt, you're still acting. You know? Yeah, bro. I'm not letting you punch me in the face for and, and fucking YouTube views. We're talking about a weirdo, bro. <laughs> and we've seen it. Homies will piece each other up like that, but you're not gonna just like pulverize your homie. But you, I've you got hit smack for them free. Up. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck that, bro. A bloody uh, nose, and then what's his nose broken? I'm not allowing you to put the homies. 
punch each other, right? Yeah. But at the <laughs> same time, bro, we're not uploading videos of us punching each other. <laughs> because yeah. nobody had a phone. I don't give a fuck if we did have a phone. If you upload, don't make it worse. if you upload you punching me, I'm gonna fucking punch you but, again. But but <laughs> if it was, if, but if it was like, all right, look, I'm gonna need you to do this to me, and I'm gonna pay you. Bro, to the do next this, the next video then, is a six nine butt rape in a gym or some shit. I don't want to see that video. I do not. I don't either. It. But people are gonna watch it nonetheless. No, I think you <laughs> yes, would. I think, I think you would watch it. So you watch it, and then you could just come report oh, back. No. To hey, <laughs> yo. And then I'll be like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. But I, I just think, I don't think it's set up or I don't think it's fake because, like, he literally was working out before he got beat up. So it's like. It wasn't fake. He got the I ass don't believe it. It just was a little light. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. Something throws me off. Those are, those are, yeah. those are, Latin, those are Latin kings, bro. That, fake or not. Fake or not. Fake massively big. He, yeah, them fools were saying like too much back. throw up, throw up my crown again or some shit. Yeah. like that. Like, what the multiple fuck? times? What happened before that? Where did he throw up the crown? Like what happened? Well, I know like a lot of people do this shit. You know what I'm saying? This like that's a that's fucking Latin just, Kings, bro. That's is it? Yeah. Bro, right. the, uh, and what if this went sideways for him? Like, what if six nine actually thinking that he's manipulating everybody? <laughs> people just like at this point they're like. Oh, yeah, girl. Like people just start big facing him. <laughs> just like stop it, slut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what if I'm that? Not... Hold on. What if that shit was a put on? That's what I'm saying. What if? No, 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 no. What if that shit was a put on? What he? What if he got down with Latin Kings? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and they, that was they jumped him into the set. <laughs> that was an affiliation. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's the worst affiliation. I mean, because it's three dudes. You know what I mean? Bro got, bro, bro got kicked in the face. Like Jesus Christ! I don't, bro, I'm not trying end? to get murdered over that, so I'm not even talking about no <laughs> shit like that. Bro, they put your ass on in the LA Fitness. <laughs> He said, yo, come to LA Fitness so you can get jumped right now. <laughs> hey, what happened to the backyard, guys? <laughs> Why right, TMZ right. spin this shit? No, he was initiated. <laughs> Watch, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Bro, never know. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, then he would uh, be hey, under their protection. Watch him be the first security? person that's allowed to have multiple organizations. He's part of the KKK. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Kings. He's a middleman. <laughs> He's universal. <laughs> Everybody's using it. <laughs> All right, man. Let's the move on. Fuck, fuck six nine. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm so That's glad you got your man. ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that whooped your ass, bro. And <laughs> all the other artists were talking about it too. Bro. All right, so 20 years later, man, they're releasing a fucking part two of Good Burger. You seen this shit? Oh, what the fuck? So 26 really? years later, <laughs> is it is uh, it too far past time? No, it's never too far. Do the kids know about this shit though? Yeah, my dogs do because I've been putting it on my dogs. <laughs> on the, on the bar. I put it on YouTube because it's free, and I'm like so they know the whole fucking movie. <laughs> They're like, "Welcome to Good Burger, home of Good Burger." Can't do your order. <laughs> bro, and ever since I started playing that movie, bro, my dog has been getting in the trash. <laughs> Is he looking for the burgers? I think they found her drugs and shit. Like, <laughs> Are they calmer well, now? Nah, no. but. Do you even know the movie? You you yeah, remember I watching do. the movie? I do. Yeah, but I don't think was a it lot of people would know about the movie though. It's like um it would probably be those groups of families that grew up on like right. those kind of movies. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Our, like, gen- our generation, yeah. Yeah. Us, like only us though. Like people that grew up like, you know, with like some VHSs and shit, but no money. <laughs> <laughs> And honestly, I don't know what the fuck they're doing on Nickelodeon to like, like build really up, low build up class. To it, That's the know? people that watched it. They're doing absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> they're not like building we, it up. We went, the people that went to school, but they went to like a bad school district. Yeah, and they had illegal mm-hmm. cable because Nickelodeon was on the fucking cable. <laughs> <laughs> they were parenting by shit like that. Or they had a homie you could go over their crib and watch fucking Nickelodeon. Because <laughs> there was no YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So either you stealing... <laughs> I remember one guy would get a girlfriend and everybody would just borrow her. Oh, I was never part of that. <laughs> she wasn't my girlfriend. <laughs> maybe, she, maybe she thought she was my girlfriend, but she definitely was not. She was the homies. 
Y'all act shocked and shit. That shit still happens. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Apparently. Yeah, she ain't, no, she ain't nobody's girlfriend. <laughs> that ain't nobody's girlfriend. If you're Appar- passing her around. Exactly. Apparently, it don't happen no more, does it, Mimo? <laughs> You they got, play a hot potato. Oh, <laughs> you got you got chicks at the at your school that fucking get tossed around. Yes or no, bro? He said I ain't no six him. nine. He said I ain't no six nine. Yes or no, bro? The may or may not be the in mayor G- in GTA. In GTA, said may. <laughs> may hey, I'm, may I'm, I may or may not have been involved in a few group things. Well, we're sounding really Trumpish. <laughs> I may or may not have allegedly. Allegedly raped allegedly. anybody. Whoa, whoa, I didn't allegedly rape anybody. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so is there a demand for this, though? Do they think rape? this is really yeah. going to work? Like, do Relax. this movie, this movie, <laughs> the Good Burgers 2, they, is there, like... But that's, like, it's a demand within the cult following, which is... is exactly. Yeah, which is kind of minute if you really look at it, the overall shit. So I don't really see it doing <clears throat> so great. Also, majority of remakes when it's this far gone is kind of there. I mean, remakes it's, in general nowadays fucking suck. I mean, let's go down the list. Lion King two. Uh, <laughs> what? Everybody saw the first one. Like all of the second movies with cartoons are so dog water. Like they make uh, a yeah. Cinderella two. Like that's gonna be dog it's water. Shit like Any Burger. Good. It's. Nobody is going to know about the first. Well, you got a handful of people that will know about the first one, but they're going to hear the, the, you know, the way that it's talked about, the way that they hear a myth. That's why the shit's retro. And then the first one's going to go, everybody's going to go watch the first one over again because the second one came out. Right. It's just going to spiral like that. Yeah. So they might get some streaming sales from that mm-hmm. shit from people like getting it off YouTube, yep. YouTube or whatever. They're, they're going to make money on it man they're gonna make a whole lot more money than they made on the first one originally they're gonna make it off the first one will make more money the second time around right 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 mm, so you think that's their main focus is not the second movie itself but just to redirect it to Keenan, the first one Keenan's on fire right now man like he's he? on fire he's got that he like not what we would say fire isn't compared to a great comedian but amongst the young crowd man like his you seen that court shit that he has on YouTube Nah. All right, so he's part of a. Um, it's like all it's like all black people, and then they judge other black people. So like they'll do like um, fucking Kanye, and then they'll it's all off the dome. So it's all freestyled. You got to defend it and a plaintiff fight the case, and there's a judge, and they fucking <laughs> oh, just freestyle the whole comedy. It's That's great. What's up. That's what's oh up. wow! That's called what? Yeah, it's um, look up. Just look up like black people court or something. I don't know. Keenan court <laughs> or something. I don't know. Keenan but court. I've been watching it and they got all kinds of different situations. Like Kanye, that topic's been on there like three times and they'll fight over it. And like whether to, it's, the whole point is if you get found guilty, they kick him out of the black community. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I think I have heard of that channel. Yeah, I guess Kanye's down bad mm-hmm. then. <laughs> I mean, they make they make really solid points off the top of the dome. Like the comedy is on point, so his comedy is like really on fucking point. You'd be surprised because I always took him as a joke. Keenan. Oh, I, I didn't hear what y'all said. So, Keenan. Keenan. I don't even know his last name. I just know Kel. <laughs> Keenan and Kel. <laughs> I don't know, but she's all spelling it wrong and shit. I just. <laughs> Bro, know. he yeah, it's good, man. There's a lot of I, I don't know. I gotta all check that shit out. I, I seen the one. You, uh, I mean, it's it's some something, something similar, kind of. You seen that shit where they're like in the classroom or whatever, and then they roast like mm. one person up there, and then that one person has to fight back against the whole yeah. classroom type yeah. shit. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the, court, the court one's hilarious because, dude. I mean, I've been I've had my mind made up on certain people and shit. But their fucking arguments are really well read. Like it makes you see it from a different side, but it's completely comedy too. Right. Like, dude, it's great. Hmm. I gotta check that shit out. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't. I didn't I, yeah, because I haven't really seen uh, Keenan on shit. Like, you really don't see Kel at all. But I no, haven't seen Ke- see Keenan on shit other than like he'll, when he'll pop out on like a clip of the Tonight Show or whatever the fuck. One of those night shows that nobody fucking watches. <laughs> the Tonight Show. <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> they just ran a uh, random. Nice show. <laughs> Who the fuck watches that shit anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll catch clips of Jimmy Kimmel. Like, I'm not watching him just to watch him. Like, no, you're yeah. bored. <laughs> if they didn't I, like, show the crowd, the relationship with Keenan and Kel, it's like that. That you know, Kel got like probably all the pussy whenever him and Keenan were coming up, and then they got so comfortable. And then Keenan's like, I still got to work because I'm fat. <laughs> so Kel fell off, and Keenan kept going in his life. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, I, like I said, I ain't never seen them fools around doing or thing. doing yeah. shit really. I mean, I see them pop up like here and there, bro. But it's like nobody fucking pays attention to them because I mean they're comedians, but they're not like they don't do stand up and shit like that. So. Hey, yeah. can I throw this in there since we're talking about movies coming out? You know they're making a new Bruce Lee. Are they? Yeah. Like who's playing Bruce Lee? Because uh, Bruce, young, <laughs> Bruce young Lee young played dude. Bruce Lee. <laughs> This, well, it's not his son. Jackie Chan. Uh, I know. It's <laughs> fucked <laughs> off, bro. Bad joke. <laughs> Emotional When, when is it supposed to come out? <laughs> Emotional. <laughs> I love that, dude. Uh, uh, so, so it's I don't like... Know, I don't know. They're in the process of filming it. The dude that's um, playing him is a fucking badass. So. It's like a story like, of his life Asian or what? Dude. Um, he's... All the way trained in martial arts, but he's all the way trained in acting too. So he should be a good role for him. It's like a story of his life, or what? Yeah, like an actual one, not like Dragon was. Oh, I got you. Got Dragon you. was like more like his old lady fucking had to prove everything. It's kind of flawed and not true. I thought they were. Uh, I thought you were meaning like they were remaking like the movies that he was in type shit. Oh no no no! They're making the biopic. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That should be dope as fuck. What? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've actually yeah, never seen one of Bruce Lee. I'm be kicking shit over. <laughs> Bro, if they want to make it authentic, man, they need to go into the depths of them, like like the actual bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's a, a lot of bullshit, and that's actually the facts. Like the motherfucker was a pillhead and shit like that. They need to go do all that. Mm. Yeah. He created his own. He, he created his own that, martial art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta be you can't on take away from that, but you got to tell all the flaws of the person. You got to be on drugs to create your own martial art. You know I, I mean? agree. You got to be on drugs to create anything, really. <laughs> like the Dr- drunken Dr- fist. Drugs are good, I'm okay? right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cartman. <laughs> drugs are good, I'm okay? You should do drugs, I'm okay? No. Okay. No, we are not promoting that here. <laughs> Mr. Hanky. Hey, yo, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, put that shit you on the screen. You sent the link. Did I? You sent this link. What did it say in front? I don't know. <laughs> put that shit on the screen, bro. bro I seen <laughs> it for a split second. I don't want to look. <laughs> <laughs> play it, play it. I don't oh, know oh. what it was. Bro. Oh my god! Like, what? The, I don't know what you sent me. We're gonna get banned. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Who sent what? What in the? Hold on, bro. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> If you thought it was a phallus, hell, it makes two of us. I'm going to get PTSD from the shit y'all be making me. Lord have mercy. That's what Caitlyn Jenner. Or, 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 what, what is her, what's his hey, name? Hey, yo, Caitlyn Jenner, relax. What's his name? Oh, God. What's his name? That's uh, that's what he is. Hey, you I can't feel, say I feel violated. His name. Why are you asking about what's his name? That's not that's his name, Caitlyn Jenner, what bro. The fuck yeah, was that? Bruce, are you talking about Bruce Jenner? Bruce, Bruce Jenner was his original his name. name. Yeah. Did you give him a warning? I almost threw up. <laughs> no, I didn't get she a warning. Said flash bang, boom. I was preparing for the next topic and clicked on a link and was like And that's been another episode of the Porter Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that I was feel set up. I feel set hey, up Carmen, right now. Carmen, if it's on your computer and your phone, I think that you don't get a warning mm. when you click links. Um, well, that had to have been like a horse. To me. That had to have been like a horse, right? Or a cow? I don't no. care where it came from, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm like, scarred. Like, like, this is where I copied from it. The ocean. I'm afraid to look at the screen anymore. Like, no, that's not the one. The one before that it was the one. You you went to the next. Can we, can we change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> you went to the next shit, bro. So you just play some random shit, bro. No, I came here. Was I, I in your for you page, bro? Like, Look, no. this is the one. And you just went to the next one. Pause that oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Talk about fucking. This is a this is a complete shit show right here. You know? Nobody else. Nobody else would have seen that 
If you didn't tell me to share it, it hey, would have just nobody else right tell, tell your person in the background, shut the fuck up. We're in the middle of a show here. Oh. We're professional on this side. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you, bitch. I'm talking to you, bitch. Pop up right on the screen. Oh, that shit was crazy. Lord. I don't know what the fuck. I don't either, and I'm not going to investigate this. All right, so uh, not to get crazy political, but we got to talk about the TikTok shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, The the TikTok CEO went and sat and got cooked in front of Congress, bro. It was crazy. They were not letting him get off shit. You know what I'm saying? They weren't trying to hear anything. Really, all I took from it was that, you know, some of the points they was making was good points, but the, the way that they fucking framed the question or, like, the bashing more like I would say was kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They were making some valid points, but then they would, you know, go in with emotionally, you know what I'm saying? And, and just kind of like hammer the fuck out of this dude and like not let him speak. They would ask him a question. And if he, they he was not saying exactly what the fuck they wanted to hear. They wanted to hear. Then they're like, just trying to read. Yeah, bro. It. And, yeah. and you could see homeboys like, I, oh, I, but I, yeah, yes. Yeah. He even once said if you would let me speak. I'm gonna drop this on uh, like Hold on, lost, nigga. You can't just jump in. Hold on, Congress. nigga. Shut you up. Hey, hey, right. hey, hold on. That's not how we do things right here. You gotta wait. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I waited a week. <laughs> I waited a week. <laughs> Fuck up. Nah, but so like they, you know, they didn't give dude the, the opportunity to fucking and he was trying to say like oh uh, he's for you know He's trying to do things to try to change this shit up or whatever the fuck and, and uh, you know, make it to where, you know, all this other shit to where it's legal or like, you know, however right. they're safe or whatever, however the fuck they want it. I mean, not Chinese. Yeah, I guess. But it's. A, it, you know. <laughs> I mean, he had good uh, solutions for their their supposed concerns. Right. He had right. good solutions. I mean. But I'm just going to, this is what I'm going to say. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can speak y'all peace. We'll release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is what, this, this is what I'm going to say. And then y'all can have y'all, y'all say. <laughs> but honestly, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they all do the same shit. You got it. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. It is. I agree. agree. All right, go. As far go. as like snatching right. your information and, and all uh, that. The government is already known. They were already <laughs> made aware of this shit when TikTok came out. We look at the government as, oh, now they're concerned. They already knew all this shit. The guy knew what he was walking into. When you're walking in to speak to Congress about anything, especially social media, you already fucking know exactly what you're walking into. It was a whipping you're gonna be made. You're going to be made a martyr of. Yeah. And, you know, it's they knew what TikTok was doing. They knew who created it. They knew from day one that Chinese have a different TikTok. The whole platform is different. They don't show anything like we see on TikTok. It's all educational. It's all uplifting. So what the fuck are we talking about? The government's acting like, oh, we just found this out. Bullshit. They've known it since day one. Now it's a concern. So why am I going to listen to the government question somebody? And you allowed them to do it for five years, six years, how long? T- Ten years? <laughs> why are we not questioning why the people questioning them acting like they didn't know? Right. That's the fucking issue. <clears throat> yep. Who, I mean, they're more of my concern than the people that fucking had TikTok. You can create anything you want. The people that allowed it to go on for so long, and don't say shit about it, and then sell it to you like, oh, we're, we're protecting you now. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the same shit, bro. Like, they're, they're acting like Facebook and Instagram don't do the same shit. They're collecting all your data. Use it. Google. Yeah. Google does the fucking exact same shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole, like, the whole thing. The, but I mean, but it's that it's, it's that it's they for that reason it's that they don't have the ability to tap into whatever they're fucking doing. You know what I'm saying? Dude. They have the the availability to tap into any of the Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Google, YouTube, all this shit. They can have a say in that shit, and that they can't have a say. That's the problem. You know, it, it trips me out because I went down like a pattern like for like a while. You know, just like any trend, you're like. You want to live on the land and escape the, the government and, you know, this, that, the other. And, man, it's all fucking garbage. You're not fucking getting away from anything. You're not. Period. Se- like, seven years, by the way. Seven years TikTok has been in the U.S. Seven years. Yeah. And seven so years already? If they want you, they got you. It doesn't matter. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Look at this. Look at it like this. People are worried about talking about, like, simple shit. I'm like, 
talking in code to get a nickel bag of weed. Like, yeah, that's fucking like, retarded. Bro. What the fuck? Nobody's. Bro, yeah, they're, 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 he better. said they're using emojis and talking in code to, to sell look, drugs on TikTok. This, I was like, bro, I've never this. seen this shit ever. Look, look at the shit. Look at the people that uh, all the school shooters. Like they do that shit they on Instagram so all day. Shit and nobody stopped it. They take pictures they on Instagram. So much shit over text, over fucking Facebook. They post it right on there. They tell you they're going to do it. And it's not stopped. So right. that tells you. That shit's allowed at the minimum. Like at the minimum, you let it go. Like, Bro, look at look at um I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, that I met they that have plugs that do business through Snapchat. Yeah. And they use the the fucking emojis, all that other shit. They that's where they that I heard that shit initially come from. Mm. So well, I mean the fuck look at the CIA, man. They they're responsible for like they fuck all the crack and epidemic in the 80s, like through under the Reagan. Like, fuck, dude, you don't think that they know? Like, fuck, they're the ones that bring it over. Like, they make deals with the cartels, they trade arms, they do all this shit. You just don't need to be the focus of it. Like, that's all. They don't need you, some fucking guy that's moving a, a key or two a week. They're not worried about your ass, bro. They got bigger fish to fry. If, if you're if you're creating an uproar and you're threatening their administration, that's when you're going to be a problem. That's when your ass is going to get murked. The and dude that fucking uh, exposed the, under the Reagan administration, uh, he was found after he exposed it. He wrote a book and he exp- exposed the whole thing about what the CIA was doing with uh, the crack and all that shit. He was found dead in his apartment with three gunshot wounds in his head, and they called it a suicide. Right. Yeah, that's a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> How many times <laughs> you had to try to suicide yourself, yeah. my boy? <laughs> how, do you, how do you pull the trigger three times? That's yeah, crazy. for real. Where was Hillary? <laughs> I, I, I just I, after watching the her buckle of this hearing, it, 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 I feel like it made the our Congress look bad, really bad. He, yeah. the, the, well, what the does owner, it? They, the t- I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like the TikTok owner, he kept his composure. He he was not losing his cool. Like he looked pissed on the inside. I, he was, but he but <laughs> he kept his. Composure. He didn't lose his shit. He didn't go crazy, which I feel like they were kind of trying to antagonize him. They were trying to get their click bites in so that way people would post, oh, this is what this one said or whatever. They were getting click bites is crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> what is, what is, click what is the bait or what do you I don't know, but it sounds kind of hot. No, but the, whatever. they were getting their clicks in. Another thing is that they were talking about uh, what's very dangerous was the um, the challenges, the TikTok challenges or whatever. And they said, like, five of the challenges, bro, and I only knew one of them. I'm like, bro, obviously, like, it's not that fucking big of a deal. And it's the fucking challenge, like, oh, the crate challenge was a fucking, a big thing. It was, it was one of them that they were talking about. They said the crate challenge. I'm like, bro, who gives a fuck? Like, do you know the, bro, if that's a big deal, you wouldn't have wanted to follow me around while I was a kid. Because <laughs> like, I was doing way more dumb shit than that, bro. Forget their memories, and nobody needed to hashtag whatever the fuck I was doing, bro. And it helps all the stores because, like, they're buying your supplies, they're buying the crates from you, and everyone gets to enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing like challenges because when the ice bucket challenge thing was going around, TikTok wasn't around. Right, right. Way before that, y'all did the cinnamon one. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, he, yeah. he almost died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was that retarded kid that almost died. <laughs> he was like, and that's just it. <laughs> Bro. Like, <laughs> uh, one, t- one chip challenge, uh, dummy boy almost yep, died. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it, and so, the, like, they're just being very unfair, bro. And obviously, <laughs> you know, they're not getting, I mean, if they came came with some bread, you know what I'm saying? Like, it always then, makes me wonder, man. They'll be like, all right, you well, got it. It's, like, <laughs> it's always the same thing. Like, anytime something happens where Congress is talking about something so ridiculous about challenges, that's your concern is that the challenges that our youth are doing, that's so ridiculous to make that your point. It, it automatically makes me like, what the fuck are y'all doing right now? Because every time something pops up, like a gun thing or uh, anything they're concerned about, there's something else going on that we're not looking at. Right. Look at Every this. time. Look at this hand. Don't pay attention to this. But one. that's the yeah. shit too. I was thinking, like, bro, like, this, this is really 
You you're making yourself bad look bad because you you're you're fucking talking about free speech, but then also you're fucking muting people like mm-hmm. with with this shit at the same time. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's just this is the way we want to do it. It's our rules apply. They don't you know right. rules for thee and not for me. So I saw I saw a, a TikTok creator post a video saying that now TikTok is doing this mm-hmm. thing where um if you get uh if you're a three minute video and people have to tune in obviously longer. Um, but if they are tuning in longer, then they're going to pay you more. And the guy said mm. he's getting paid like almost 20 times more than what your average TikTok creator is getting paid because it's this new thing that they're rolling Jeez. out. He said, I post the same exact video on the other platforms. And he's like, and I make a fraction of the cost. Eh, I've heard, I've heard the, heard uh, the opposite. So I was like, okay, hey, I'm not real studied in that. If you can give me like a 10 second rundown, how is it that the creators of shit on TikTok and Instagram, how are they getting paid off of their following? Clicks and views. Yeah. Dang, like, that likes, in two and, seconds. likes and comments <laughs> and views. That's it. And, and then, and then too, like the same way you get paid off YouTube. And then they, and then you make something out of it, right? Like you get sponsorships. So somebody will send you their clothing brand. And if you get people to buy their stuff right. through your code or whatever, then now you're getting money off of that too. Not right. just off TikTok itself, but off of whoever's buying the merchandise that you're, whatever you're representing. Right. So right now, um, the YouTube shit has just rolled out the creator fund for the reels. And so they're pushing mm-hmm. that really hard and they're paying big bucks off of that shit. I've noticed that a lot of people are just doing that shit, like the quick vids, you know, and they're gaining millions of, because a lot of people don't want to tune into like hour long shit and stuff like that. I do. I'm not a big fan of the reels, the five second shit, unless it's like comedic where it's like a set. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, dude, there's some people's channels. I go to click them to see who they are. I go to click them and see who they are. And that's all they've ever posted is nothing but reels for like a year. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, dude. They must the, be getting paid. No, no, no. They just started it to where you can earn money off of it now. They uh, they weren't doing it before. So gotcha. and when, tic- when people started making money off of TikTok, that's when the, uh, YouTube was like, okay, we got to c- try to keep up. So now we got to pay these fools. Because I just got monetized off of that shit like uh, the beginning of... Last month, I believe it was. Hmm. What, what is the what is the yeah, algorithm? Like, how many fucking views do you have to have as a channel to I mean, get like monetized? A hundred thousand or something? No, nah, you got to have uh, a thousand followers and some kind of uh, watch time. Some some kind of so many minutes or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Of, they have to watch so much of your right. videos or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, so it kind of follows. I think it's like a thousand hours of watch time as well, or some shit like that. Kind of follows what that guy was saying. Right, right. But I, this and, is, but I've um, just been seeing a this lot. Seems of, like an easy solution to this, like to get paid off of it. It's a lot of work. I mean, it, it is. A lot of work. You got to constantly a, thou- a thousand people doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. Yeah, I don't think I can. It's get a, a lot. Followers. It is, but if you had one way to get everybody to do it right in front of you at the same time you're speaking, like if you were in front of a thousand people at like an elementary school or high school, and you had everybody log on their phones and be like, "Subscribe right now." It's part of my whole gimmick. Then you automatically have a thousand subscribers. Then bang, you're monetized. And now, as long as that, they keep following, they if keep following. a quarter of them watch one video, then you're winning. No, because you still have to. You still have to get about. I say paid, but you have to get about a hundred thousand views to make any kind of little decent money. Mm-hmm. No, and, no, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you want to make a living off done. of it. All I'm saying is that's a quick way to get. If you did that, say for instance, if you sold the scam to three schools, you know, talk, talk your way into three high schools. You know, if you get X amount of subscribers just off those three high schools, just from bullshitting, then that's a lot of subscribers. But how many people do you You know that are out there talking at schools? I mean, if you're just a regular schmuck at home doing cooking videos or something, I don't know. Like, I mean, you just think it, TikTok helped so many people, just regular people making just short at first, it was what thirty second videos. Then it went to sixty seconds. Now it's three minutes. I know it led me to you a few times. But China, just regular people making TikToks, and then now they're making money off of it. China, they weren't doing it off of Facebook. They weren't doing it off of Instagram. They weren't doing it off of none of that. They were making money off TikTok. China, and it's, and it's like China. now they want to shut down TikTok because it's like no, 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 we can't control you fully over there. So we need China. you back over here. China. That's, that's China. 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 Who, who China. owns t- who owns Instagram? China. I have no idea. Uh, Facebook <laughs> owns Instagram. 
They, yeah. They oh, yeah. That's why uh, Mark Suckercock is coming out fucking. Yep. That's, Dang, why that's he's his new name. Against it. <laughs> yeah. And he's even like, I'm going to put money to it like so we can yep. you know, get them the fuck out of here. Because it's his biggest threat. Yeah. He's a cook. He he basically has if if it wasn't for Elon having Twitter, he he would basically have a, a monopoly on social media. Yeah. Bro. Did he sell it, Elon? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck no. The no. he bought it for so much, bro. The evaluation on it that has went like way down. Well, it's not like he needs it. I mean, I mean, not like he needs the money. He he could cheap sell it because, I mean, to have your name attached to it could cause more problems than even anything. I mean. Your fucking target. Oh yeah, he went from a hero to a fucking villain overnight, basically. After buying, uh, I just keep buying fucking spaceships and sending cars into space and mobile homes. And <laughs> I feel like I feel like he bought it just to make a statement. Like oh, one hundred. Like it was, and it was a statement yeah. well heard. Yeah. Did you see the? Uh, I mean, it's an old video or whatever, but of him. Uh, Saying like, of course, it's, uh, my car is in space. You know, like it, it just looks so fake that it's real or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's dude, real because it looks so fake. Like, what dude, the fuck? Hey, because he's fucking mentally retarded. <laughs> you got you got to be he's, a half ass retard to be a genius. Nah, right? dude, I, I love him. Like, I I think he's really a humanitarian. Um. Who, I think he's just so incredibly fucking smart that he just, you know, he comes off as odd. But the dude has Asperger's, so I got Asperger's. Now, I I know you in high school you used to like to eat Asperger's. Asperger's. What about Good Burger? It looks like Good Burger, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they have, like, the double McAsperger in Good Burger, too. <laughs> double. With the, ma- with, the, with the ass sauce, the ass juice on it. <laughs> I stayed away from the doubles. Dripping, tripping, dripping. Hey, play that. Uh, <laughs> so this dude kind of really summed everything up about that whole TikTok shit. You know what I'm saying? We did really spend more time than I wanted to on it. But let, <laughs> let homeboy get his shit off. And I really think he made a valid ass point. Hopefully this is the right video. No, it is. It is. It's not a <laughs> video cow-cow. last night talking about the potential TikTok ban. And after watching the Congressional Committee grill the TikTok CEO for about four hours, Worse today, I'm going to say what I really want to say. Now, like I said last night, I never talk about politics, and the only reason why I'm comfortable talking about this is because I don't think it's a left side of the aisle or right side of the aisle type issue. It's a free speech issue, which affects all of us. There very well may be security concerns with this app, but we may never know because they never would let the man answer a question. Common sense tells me that you only ask a question when you're looking to gain knowledge or understanding. It couldn't have been more clear that these congressional committee members only wanted a soundbite and TV time. And let me go ahead and say this. Those congressmen and congresswomen, they don't give a fuck about me and you. You know what they care about? Lining their pockets with lobbying money. If they didn't really care about the American people, you know what they'd be focusing their efforts on? The fentanyl problem in this country. The opioid epidemic in this country. Sexual exploitation of children in this country. Child trafficking in this country. School violence in this country. But you know why they ain't making that their problem? Because they ain't getting money from lobbyists to make it their problem. I said what I said. Believe every word of it. Stand behind every word of it y'all have a good night you know what he's saying right off the bat right like those those three issues they've been pushed in congress the issue is those three issues is illegal immigration they've talked about those same issues they do the same thing with each other too they'll put somebody on the stand they'll cut each other off it's the most ridiculous shit it was not like when we grew up when we were younger if you ever like my grandparents were big into politics you this type of fucking stupid shit that goes on. It's like the government is children. Like it's a bunch of children that are been elected way too long, endless terms. Like people like Nancy Pelosi and all these crooked people. It doesn't matter. There's no. There's no two sides. There's no debates. There's no none of that shit. It's just a bunch of fucking mummies. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy <laughs> and. Yeah, like I don't want to keep going on it because we spend too much time on this political bullshit. But there does need to be a change made, bro. And hopefully, somehow, some way, shit is figured out to where they can make a change because that shit is killing this country. So is yeah. so I'm it's not like saying overthrow anything. Like no, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm not, I'm not saying overthrow anything. I said <laughs> I know you up. are. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not. I'm not. You can't make jokes like that without laughing. You stupid I'm, piece of shit. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not. You are. <laughs> fuck you. 
<laughs> Anyways, on to the next. <laughs> What's this fucking next topic we got? Here? Could that be crazy, right? A bunch of Mexicans go overthrow the government. I'm about I'm about to mute this one. <laughs> uh, well, My last name's Cavazos, bro. I, <laughs> I don't think you want to do the next one. Hey, man, you tell your people stay the fuck over there, bro. <laughs> don't don't be coming fucking January sixth and over here, bro. Oh, you, you're Lord. the one that said you weren't going to get into politics. Oh, look. China. Okay. What is, what is this? I don't know. I have Wrong. Oh. You are fake oh. news. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, okay. You're not showing it. I know. I know. I was trying to stop it. Imagine Paul ima- Walker. Nah. He died in a car wreck. Imagine oh, yeah. being so old that you, you it, that being introduced to new technology is fucking. Out of this world, do you check this video out? That's me. That would actually be lit. Do you trust this? Oh my god! Oh, here he is. Well, that's a cop. What's this thing on top? I don't know. A jaguar. A jaguar. Oh my goodness! You got a jaguar. Where? Where is the guy? There's a cougar in the car. <laughs> Buckle up. Oh, no, Amanda. Do you trust this? Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> He's like, holy fuck, oh, there's nobody God. driving, bro. I cannot believe this. Hold on, I need my seatbelt. Hold yes. on, hold on. I want to be buckled. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, they are <laughs> tripping. He touched the seat. Well, how did he get down here? I called it. You called it? I did. Call who? <laughs> the car. There's no guy driver. I know. Oh. He can't even speak English. <laughs> he's oh, Amanda, he's a, in other Jerry words, says he's scared. I am too. In other words, you're selling these? Well, where's he Jenny? We got big... Mouth. Amanda, oh, homeboy is. Uh, you, he's Amanda, but won't won't this car get on? What what are the car? <laughs> he can't even fucking this. speak, bro. Here we go. All Intersection. Right. Oh, I, I don't. All know. Right. I'll never. I'll ah. never forget this. Ah. Never. Oh, We're turning. Oh lord. Amanda, oh, Jesus up Christ, on the car. God, get it the fucking together. He did Don't a better. Away. The car did a better job. God damn you. Well, I don't know the strange all part. Moment, like, that's sorry. strange to me. Like, And then we have all of our oh. friends have been in prison for 20 years. So you see how their reaction is whenever you show them like uh, true, anything. True, true, true. It's not. They that's might they true. might hear about it, but to see I mean, it, yeah. I didn't that think about shit, it like that. if I got in a self-driving car, I've never been in one. Like, so I haven't either. The first time I got in a Tesla at the shop. I didn't know how to fucking start the car. Like it's that fucking strange. It is. There's no fucking normal shit. How do you start you know? it? I've never been in one. Actually, you put you put a credit card on the Shut on the, the center. Fuck up. Oh, like a rent a rented Tesla. Okay. No, a person's Tesla. Your key is your credit card. Okay. Like a, a car, a Tesla oh, card. Gotcha. You <laughs> lay it on a thing, and then what? the fucking thing. It doesn't make any sound though, so you don't know if you're in drive or reverse. Hmm. You have to, yeah, you don't know because it's electric. So, like, people wreck them at the shop. <laughs> I need, I need. Yeah, like, why the fuck would they take <laughs> do, them to yard? Do any of our listeners have a Tesla? I need to see this in person. No, like, for, like, state inspections. Yeah, they need to give me you need to work on them. That's oh, okay. crazy. Oh, yeah. How do you give a state inspection to a fucking electric car? It's just safety. There's no emissions. Just making sure the lights work and shit. It's like a diesel truck. Yeah, so your windshield wipers work. Your turn signals work. You're just checking that kind of stuff. Yep. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. That's and crazy. they're fucking with the people's car and changing all their settings on accident. <laughs> Hold Whoops. on. I'm fucking with my holes. <laughs> ain't lying. People will drop. There but needs they, to be a sound Tesla owners, on the, on the sound Tesla line. owners, they're the type of people that they go in for a 10-minute inspection, but they drop the car off for like a whole day. So Shut you're like in there up. watching you porn and shit. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look up all kind of weird shit these fools going through their fucking history. Like, what the fuck? No, we're uh, getting drunk at lunch today. Drive us to the drive us back to work. I seen I seen a TikTok where somebody said, "What would you do? You drop your car off to get it inspected, right? And then you walk like next door to McDonald's to go get something to eat while you're waiting, and you see them pull up in your car to come get food." I see that Jaguar shit. I don't. I didn't know that. That seems strange to me, like where you can call the car to come get you. 
That's yeah, so scary. Did, you, did y'all know that happens? Yeah, they're doing deliveries and shit like that too. Uh, through drones. Yeah, I don't know exactly where. I think this is like a fucking California thing, but it has to be. <laughs> no, because I seen a TikTok of where a chick in Texas. I don't know where in Texas, but in Texas, she ordered a uh, Starbucks or some shit like that. If that guy is amazed at that, which is strange to me as well, could you imagine showing like somebody his age some like porn? The shit that goes on in that, like he was like, what? What? I don't. I don't know. Hell he'd nah, be they've been doing that for I, years. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know that he'd be surprised with porn, nah, but he might be surprised if they could like whole life. 3D porn or something. They've like, been for fucking the, for centuries. Holographic, now, right? Could you imagine now you holographic put, porn? You put a fucking uh, VR on that motherfucker. He's tripping. <laughs> I'm in the room. <laughs> you you give him that point of view fucking <laughs> VR shit. What's, what's that Italian dude that puts his leg up on the, on the edge? It's like, like I can see it, but I can't oh. feel it. How come my dick ain't hard? <laughs> have, have you ever watched porn on a VR? Yeah. Like, that ain't my dick. <laughs> I've got three fucking Oculuses only for that. This fool. <laughs> okay. I was going to say give me one, but it probably got his nut on it. And yeah. I, no. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. No, no, we're not borrowing no, no. nothing from him. We're not borrowing. How do you? How do you? Why though. did you buy three? How do you wear three? <laughs> three yeah, what does it mean? You got three, three different like episodes. Like he just switching up episodes. <laughs> like two for that, one for my son. <laughs> and they're dedicated for that because you know that there's extra sauce on them. It's just like group <laughs> meetings, and you have others. Oh, man, I, I think people, people are sleeping doing. on this Oculus thing. Speaking like, of your son, happy birthday, no, boss! I know that I've had conversations with you about it. When especially when you, when you he move. just talks and just doesn't even listen get, at all. Well, I, what is the point? You having headphones? You don't even hear when anybody else is talking. It's Boston's anything. birthday. Is there a setting that if there's any noise in this mic to where it doesn't cut off y'all? We can go through all the settings later. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, you should anyways. you should have logged in early. Um, <laughs> well, I say happy birthday, Boston. Just yeah, thanks, out. man. It is his birthday today. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Was a, yeah, it was. Yeah. Cool. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you threw him off a track. <laughs> no, but what I was saying is it, I, for anyone that hadn't used Oculus and all that shit, I don't, I've never used it for games, but whenever like people like say you moved, what I tell people like there's an app called Big Screen. You can legit put on a game like on ESPN or Monday Night Football and you're sitting in a fucking theater, your homeboy's next to you and you're watching the same game Looking at each other, you know, you got Avatar, but you're talking, but if it's so real that you feel like you're like chilling next to the person and watching the shit, and that's really cool. Especially like if people were overseas fighting or whatever, that'd be fucking legit. Like to be able to experience that, you know, like see family members I mean, that you don't normally that's, get to see. That's cool if if that's the only member there. But like it would suck. Like let, let's yeah, just yeah. You don't let, have to have people in the room that but, you don't know. I know, but it's just it. Just, it would suck. Like like if okay, us three are here in the same room and you're over there, but there's we only got one VR, so only one of us can be well, sitting that's right why here. Hook I bought two. two. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that makes like, sense. It's not, it's I'm not, not trying to buy five. I'm not trying to buy five, so we can all be in the same room. We'd be like, we it's take so turns. Cheap. We're gonna take turns. <laughs> we'll take. We'll Some fucking pass, things are not we'll cheap. Pass it around. I'm done beating it here. <laughs> no. That's not why we're using it. No. Next. <laughs> no. But so like make sure you wipe it down when you're done. <laughs> but so what what would y'all think would be a better life to not know oh, about no, any no. of the technology or know everything about technology? Not know anything about technology. I was gonna say like I if think, everybody if it was an equal playing field, no one knowing about technology. I feel like this. Whenever I explain my childhood to you kids, y'all think it sounds fun. Like when I tell y'all like the, the parents was. kick you out. They kick you out the house, right? And in the morning, like you wake up, they tell you, like, get up, shower, get dressed for the day, get the fuck out of my house, and don't come back till before the sun comes down. And we would go play in the creek, and we'd go fishing, we go sand duning, like whatever. We just we're outside, just living life. They have no idea where we're at for a good like twelve hours. No clue where we're at. <laughs> a question, Longer. question: What um, desert did you live in to go sand duning? I didn't live in a desert. I just lived in the country. Yeah, I was like, whose life is she describing? Because I'm pretty sure I knew you for like a long time. No, 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 I've never seen a fucking sand dune in my goddamn life. I remember a lot of mixtapes, a lot of drugs, a lot of SPM. No, my, my, my younger years, whenever we lived in Azel, we were out in the country and you'd have to ride your bike a couple miles down the road and in the middle of fucking nowhere, there were, uh, well, we called them sand dunes. They were just mounds of dirt whatever and you'd ride your bike you just ride your bike up and down them it's all about the art of storytelling 
more than what actually Ask happened. Lizard. Ask Lizard. Lizard will tell there's, you. There was piles of fucking dirt. It yeah, those were not <laughs> fucking sand dunes. You ever fucking... I mean, it's not like mountains. You ever but... seen fucking videos of like Egypt and shit? That's yes, fucking it's sand not, dunes. It's not oh, mountains. Always be like, we had mounds. We, were jumping we had mounds. <laughs> I, was on, I was on a mountain. <laughs> we had mounds, not mountains. I climbed mountain Everest. <laughs> Listen to that my was words. <laughs> we had mounds, not mountains. We had mounds. They were oh, okay. they were mounds. Got you. That's mm-hmm. where he got the mountain from, right? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But we would, really like, I said, like I'm just saying. Like nowadays, God like damn it, Bobby. nowadays, if my kids are gone for 12 <laughs> hours at a time, I'm like, where are they? You know what I mean? Like I'm worried now because now. There's so much technology that we know of all the evil in the world. Yeah. It doesn't mean that evil didn't exist back now, then. That was super fun. You just it's take off on your fucking technology. bike, go hang out, go fucking swimming, jump out the swimming pool, go to somebody's house, eat up all their food, go go yeah. to the next okay. so, you know, so, so go, so go you, look for hoes, you know what I'm saying? All in the same fucking clothes, bro. Like you just you're wearing shorts and got some fucking shoes on, got maybe a shirt, maybe not a shirt. Who knows? You, like, and, uh, you and six back six. Then, like all the business that you had in life that you needed to conduct could be done at the bowling alley. Yeah, for sure. You need to make money. Or the skating rink. Or the skating rink. Play games. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever you need to do is at the bowling alley. Or the skating rink. Don Carter's. Don Carter's at it all. You say make money, have fun, fuck with hoes. (laughs) (laughs) But hold on. Okay. Okay. So uh, 6'6 and Osama. Okay. One of the ways. As as a little kid. Osama? No, six six. 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 (laughs) Uh, So as um, we're talking like 12 and under. As a little kid, you knew where it was popping. When you're you're on your bicycle, you're driving down the street, right? Or driving down the street, right, riding down the street. You knew which house was popping. How? Uh, the one that's empty. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Five hundred points on the board. <laughs> or, or the one that had all the bicycles like just laid out on the ground because we didn't have to tie them up or none of that shit. You roll up to your homeboy's to be house. Honest with you, you throw I your wasn't bike really allowed at anyone's house. The growing up, like uh, I, Matt was a terrorist. But you know, you know what I'm talking doors, about, though, right? I swear to you, you like, know what I'm talking about, because like your homies call you, like, "Hey, come over," and you pull up on your bike, and there's like ten bikes outside, just laid out on the ground. Yeah, you knew some fun stuff was happening because there was a lot. I of knew. Fun I was always that kid that. No, nah, like, I didn't know because nobody was ever at my house. Like, really jealous, like that I couldn't go in with them. Mm. Like I did see bikes. There was people that got to hang out. I got to. Then, I got to go out and do things up until I was about eleven. And then it got very weird after that. Why, why did you just make it weird? Like, no, I'll just say, like, nobody, the whole case info was growing, up, growing, up, growing up in, like, the country and, like, living in, in that kind of uh, lifestyle was way different than when we moved to Crowley and then we lived in that. It was you hear just, stories it was just about when our parents always said that you could leave the doors open. You could have the doors open all day and go to sleep and leave the house open. I mean, until the night uh, stalker comes. I mean, in, technically, or... you can still do it. Who the fuck is really going to check your fucking door, bro? Didn't you get your mom's fucking car set on fire in the driveway? Hey, hey, allegedly, <laughs> it wasn't Not you. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> people are fucking thrown off now. Like, yeah. There's no boundaries. There's no. I code. mean, that, that's not even now. That was fucking 20 years ago. <laughs> More exactly. More. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I didn't. You know. Motherfuckers just it was back bad. before, like when people could sleep with your sister and you weren't that mad. You were like, "All right, man, you're my boy." <laughs> so your boy slept with your sister. Tell us more about that. <laughs> if anyone's gonna sleep with my sister? It's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> you're my sister. You're my sister. <laughs> that is <laughs> no dear Teddy. Yeah, don't try to spice it up, dirt boy. <laughs> I thought this was organized. <laughs> so life would be no, better. Why are you staring so hard? Bring up the Angelina Jolie shit. Yeah, let's do this. I didn't see that it had a video though. Did you hear that this bitch uh, fucking hired a hitman to kill her? I'm a hired to one? kill her, so Angelina Jolie confesses that she once hired a hitman to kill her. Herself. Oh, she was trying to test her she, gangster. She was like. trying to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> off herself. You know what I mean? Bro, the, you seen how many Self different delete. babies they've adopted. You knew it was coming. <laughs> no, but I think this was like in the past, I guess. Because uh, I see that Billy Billy Bob Thornton was there. She Like she trying to be a YouTuber 24 hours trying she, to survive not getting hit by a hitman? I don't know. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but she so she um, she fucking hired this hitman right mm-hmm. to fucking smoke her so so that her family would not have to mourn and be sad over the fact that she killed herself. Mm. So they could Bro. just be sad about like somebody just randomly smoked her. Oh wow! You know I mean, wow. And and it's not like a uh you know like to bring down the family name because you fucking killed yourself now you know why don't you just get married and you have you don't have to pay out of your own pocket somebody's gonna hire somebody to try to kill you anyway <laughs> yeah nah but so I guess she lost her nerve the the fucking the dude told her like uh I don't know I'm gonna give you like a week to think about it. And then we can t- to revisit this, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking the serial assassin that has morals, huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, this this is what the story says. If, if you read the article, With this morals. Is what the story says. But, uh, and then. You gotta so, talk her off the ledge. Yeah. So, you know, you can find a good guy. Right? Fuck you, man. I mean, she found the right one, apparently, because um, she came back a week later, and I guess she was like, I, uh, X nay on the Upit Stay. And She's like, I brought three children from Africa that changed my life. <laughs> I got a, I, I'm, I got, I got responsibilities and, now. You know what I'm saying? It's wild, man. Apparently, like, she used to cut herself too. Can you imagine oh, yeah. though? Like, I can kind of understand it. It's psychotic as fuck, but I can kind of understand these people that there's not, there's never fucking enough. Like, whenever you're at that level of fame, and, and especially Angelina Jolie's smoking hot. Yeah, how could you be yeah, you, fucked up? You had it all. Yeah, right, you got everything. You're fucking smoking hot. You got money. You Let me hire a killer to kill me. <laughs> I mean, you were with Billy Bob Thornton. Then, you know, like... <laughs> if you're worried about killing yourself, and I just had this conversation with somebody earlier, you're you're thinking about killing yourself, but you're so vain that you want to hire somebody to kill you so you don't look bad after you're dead. Right, bro. That's an extreme amount of vanity. That's like, another, level, another level of I'm a bitch. Like, another level of crazy, bro. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. <boy. laughs> that's fucking dope. <laughs> now, nah, something too, like they are, they are. Uh, she is fucking crazy, bro. Because uh, I think her and yeah. Billy, Billy Bob like put vials of blood around yeah. her neck or some shit. And like that, that. And he's working with like twelve inches of meat. <laughs> he was busting that down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> she had Billy Bob with a dragon, bro. Like yeah. a dragon. I could see Billy Bob. You can make a joke out of it, but a fucking dragon, bro. Like you're a wild bitch. I'll spit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> spit in your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know they did all the shit, bro. Yeah, for real. Like, come on now. She was in Gone in sixty seconds, man. Oh, oh god. my god, that was a fucking good ass movie, Christ. bro. Nick Cage, I'm talking to you right now. If you didn't bust if that shit, if you did down, not bust those fucking, cheeks, you're a bitch. You're a baby bag bitch. A whole fucking bitch, bro. Really talking you're about not you, death writer. You might low key be queer. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you didn't bust that down with the dreads, if you didn't bust it down with the dreads, bro, you're a he bitch. He was trying to tell us the national treasure that it was that pussy. Chris <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Oh, fuck. That's hilarious. All right, let's get to this last video Did right you hear here. That man. One day she fucking said that she gave birth to those kids that were from Africa. Oh, did she? What? No. Oh, what? I was, I was like, that. bro, if we were talking. She might be that crazy. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't put it. News. I wouldn't put it past her after we and talk about she hired a fucking hitman. You, yeah, you're the fucking bad one. Like, <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's pull up this last video right here. Check this shit out, man. <laughs> Apparently, a, a podcast in Houston was recorded. Thank you. Thank you for being part of the Houston community and culture. Just as Alexei Reyes and Nathan Reeves were wrapping up filming the fifth episode of their photography podcast called November oh. Romeo, oh. 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 a black Chevy oh. Tahoe oh. came oh. crashing through the Imagine, bro. bro. <laughs> and you can't oh, really wearing a FUBU jersey, bro. <laughs> that fucking truck should have wiped him out as soon as I saw him. <laughs> like bro. they knew what team jersey, though. He's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Imagine like you're just fucking randomly just recording your little podcast. We're just right here, and somebody comes smashing through my fucking window. Breaks right your here. whole bag and just it's fucking woke as shit with that food jersey. And bro. nobody got hurt. What the fuck, bro? He Man. was like, they were like, oh, <laughs> such a pussy ass car, car crash, bro. <laughs> they set that shit up. They're like, hit the brakes oh, before the window. Come on, oh, man. man. 
<laughs> they hired a hitman to come and hit the window. Oh, oh, you Lord. see? Yeah, it was all set up. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's been another episode of the Porty Potty Podcast. Matt, I appreciate you coming on, Mr. Six Six. Uh, we'll get into and, God, and y'all y'all will uh, learn 10, who the fuck the, Matt. y'all will learn who the fuck that this man is. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, he kind of fucked today up. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> this is what how how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Welcome this is the shit show, show. And, and and things happen of such. You know what I'm saying? So on to the next one, man. We gonna flush him down. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Five stars, and, uh, five stars. Yeah, the five stars, ratings, and reviews. Dang, we're a hotel now. Like that. We in here cooking. And yeah, we gonna flush them down. <laughs> Had to hit a pause on them. Yo, next time Matt's sound gonna be way better. <laughs> <laughs>